Welcome back, couchies. Can I say couchies? <laughs> yeah, couchies. It's adorable. <laughs> so we were all set to record today's podcast on the latest episode of Vanderpump Rules when the news breaks. Tom and Ariana have broken up and Tom is allegedly dating and or hooked up with Raquel. Months long affair with Raquel. Just casual, I know. So obviously we have to talk about it. Social media is going wild. This is breaking news. Yeah, I know. I think we're all like collectively just like freaking out right now. (laughs) Like this honestly feels like one like this is bigger than the tom and katie breakup right like this is like we're going to war for ariana like we are going to la (laughs) we're booking a flight (laughs) we're We're gonna go protest any tom sandoval and the most extras concerts that we come in contact with this feels bigger than like the jen shah like arrest like (laughs) this day like has been like completely taken over by this news like it's just yeah I, I can't I'm shook <laughs> and so what are our thoughts on like at first I was like okay is this just another like rumor mill yeah. can we trust this yeah and then everyone in Vanderpump Rules starts to actually comment on it and mm-hmm. it's like okay is this giving it legitimacy like is this yeah. real I know for me it was definitely seeing James Kennedy like commenting and like he actually like posted it onto he didn't just like post it onto his stories like he posted it onto his grid (laughs) like (laughs) that is a super extra level (laughs) of being like the most messy reality tv star possible it's yeah yeah I don't know for me it's a little bit in respect in respectable but um (laughs) yeah like for like like James would have something to prove from that for me I think when it started to feel more real is when people who are kind of like outside like friend of start Mm -hmm. commenting yeah even who are like not on the show anymore like Kristen Dowdy's like I'm team Ariana Jax but like okay like no one no one is thinking anything (laughs) Jax has to say is legitimate but he's like I told you so yeah it's like even even like Ariana's like brother like has posted on like some comments and stuff and like it's just I think one like one of her best friends it's been like screenshotted that she also like posted to her story so it's just like and yeah now like I think we've at least heard from like Lala and Charlie and I think Katie as well has posted. So like, it really is like completely cat out of the bag. Even Andy yeah. posted like an alarm. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> He's like, this is not a drill. <laughs> this is not a Take yeah. your positions. <laughs> Take your positions. And well, and that's what's crazy about it too, right? Like, is that like this timing of this, it, you know, for in some respects, you feel so bad for Ariana because like this has got to be like so painful to be going through. This like is like multiple year, well, like they've like moved in together, they have animals, and now it's like it's gonna be on the show this season. Like that's what I was thinking. Filming too. it now. Yeah, apparently they're filming and they're like in her house right now or something. They're that's trying to push it into the show. Yeah. Cause the reunion didn't happen yet, right? Like no the reunion hasn't happened yet so this is also just going to be like a super messy reunion like I wonder even if she will show up like I mean but yeah that's what I was thinking too is like do like is it respectful for all of her friends to be posting this like I would hope Mm -hmm. that maybe I don't know like maybe she sees it and she's like oh I feel like people are riding for me and that's helpful or is she like oh my god all of my life is just like (laughs) on display yeah. as, uh, <laughs> Melissa Gorga would say yeah like uh, yeah I've always loved Ariana she's always been yeah. one of my favorite she's uh my heart breaks for her she doesn't really deserve does. this yeah well and I think that's probably also why she has like like she's like closed off her Instagram like I don't know if she's just gone private or if she's like fully like turned it off I hope for her sake that she has just like turned it off and is like taking the time that she needs to like deal with this because obviously it's going to be like incredibly painful and it's not even just that it's like like a a breakup is hard a breakup with like an alleged affair yeah like whatever level of like whatever has actually happened between Tom and Raquel like it's not easy I I just can't see it being true like they're Mm. making it seem like it's like it's it's unbelievable like it's literally (laughs) how could you 
how could either of them stoop that low it's literally yeah. like you know how we were saying that it's giving oh like this season's giving og vanderpump mm-hmm. rules mm. but no, like we didn't mean literally like you didn't <laughs> actually need to go have another like a affair. affair yeah is this oh my god like you know tom like you went through this like you <laughs> You had Kristen cheat on you yeah. with your best friend. Yeah. You but did also, this. like, allegedly, kind of, this is how, like, Tom and Ariana's relationship started, too, right? Like, I think there's always been a bit of a blurred line and kind of, like, what Tom thinks is, like, acceptable. And I think that Tom's kind of, like, been in this, like, really, like, what we thought was, like, this really amazing relationship. And honestly, I think some of the things that we've been seeing this season were we're seeing that those kind of like seams come apart a little bit right like even just just his like his attention yeah yeah and like you know like he was like he's putting on clothing he's getting dressed for his show and she's like trying to like engage in a conversation with him and he's really just more interested in his pants and making sure that she thinks that he looks great or whatever yeah getting getting that validation from ariana like totally like she's just been like she's like the side character of their relationship because his ego is so ginormous so big he's just like living in his own moment and I feel like she but that's why it's like and like she has been the one who is seeming to be unfulfilled in certain ways because he's like not giving her the quality time that she needs and like Mm -hmm. and he's stepping out on her like she's always been his number one fan and she's like such a good hype girl I just don't understand it I know I don't understand it at all and even I don't know if you noticed this but this comment that he made this week in the most recent episode of Vanderpump Rules I think it was episode four um he's like talking with Schwartz at Schwartz's apartment and I think Sheena had already arrived at that point and they're talking about like Schwartz and Raquel like hooking up and how they'd had Schwartz and Katie had had like kind of this like verbal agreement that they weren't going to see anybody else in the friend group and Tom Sandoval says that's so like unrealistic like how is that possible and it's like it's I did not notice that <laughs> that unrealistic <laughs> like that's a yeah. very nor- there's so many people in LA it's not like you live in like a small town where like maybe there's not a huge amount of people that you could be like choosing from in the dating pool like there's a million plus people in LA that you could very easily go out with and just go hang out with but yeah that's so true at all I don't uh it just doesn't I don't I can't I can't like Raquel if this is true I know like and we were like oh we're lo- like okay up until this this most recent episode where I know was yeah. like oh man we spoke too soon about Raquel like now we really spoke too soon about Raquel <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> if she did this mm-hmm. there's no coming back from that no I know well and it also makes me wonder like has all this like short stuff that she's been like posting online and like just even like what we are like seeing in this most recent season like is this all like a big I don't want to say like it sounds like a little decoy theory, <laughs> but is it a decoy that's just it like because she just posted like a couple weeks ago um this the picture of her and Schwartz like standing in front of Schwartz and Sandy's being like oh just cuz or whatever and like obviously like ensued in this like whole like thing of like Katie like posting about it and everybody like yeah ripping Raquel to shreds like I don't know how Raquel is gonna come back from this if this is true because like a lot of people don't like Katie um a lot of people I guess have reasons for not liking Katie like I'm fine with everybody having their favorites uh but I think it's gonna be really hard to like not be on Ariana's side for this one like no I think she's just she's too much of like a liked figure like but it's also like you know with the Katie and Tom thing I think yeah for the most part it was just super disrespectful but yeah. you could play a de- devil's advocate there that Katie was pretty horrible to to Raquel for a long time as were mm. most of the girls on the cast yeah and they yeah. weren't uh, super good friends I'm not saying what she did was okay because it really no. wasn't um but like maybe you can try to find uh, certain things there and like yeah at least they were divorced like again wrong in my opinion (laughs) but you know like at least there's some wiggle room like where you could see another side of it there is no other side of it in this scenario like this is a couple that has been together for years and you Mm -hmm. were literally breaking them up yeah yeah no (laughs) yeah I know and just I don't know at the same time I'm just like really Sandoval (laughs) this guy (laughs) 
<laughs> well, on, uh, on Watch What Happens Live, <laughs> her and Sheena were on, mm-hmm. and and he asked both of them like the BFF test or something, and they both had to respond to a question, and they okay. said like which Tom is like more attractive, and uh-huh. both of them said Sandoval. Oh my god! Well, I mean. <laughs> I don't think either of them are really that attractive, but yeah. uh, I just don't get it. I just don't get it too after like this like whole like, you know, the first four episodes that we've seen of them like being so like ride or die for Schwartz and everything. But uh, it kind of makes me wonder like what Sheena knew, like if she knew if that just was like a coincidence or like what that might have like yeah signified. Like, I don't know. I obviously well- hope that Sheena knew nothing, but... She just unfollowed her on Instagram as well. Oh shit! And they oh, like shit. were just on Watch What Happens Live with with each other like a few days ago. Oh my god! Um, but I don't know. She was so like messy. she was <laughs> snaky. Like, <Yeah>. she... <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's yeah. incredibly messy, and I just I'm so yeah. sad for Ariana. Yeah. But then there's also a part of me that's like Ariana and Katie, and sure we'll throw in Lala, even though she's just like a lot this season like just like them being single and just like living their best life yeah I think I saw someone post like they should change their sandwich shop to like a woman scorned or something (laughs) well because what was the name of the sandwich shop do you remember something about her sandwiches her her sandwiches oh my god it sounded it's clearly not memorable enough so maybe they should consider changing it (laughs) I also just feel like this is gonna like make everybody like that's like a fan of Vanderpump Rules like flock to that restaurant as like as soon as it opens because like we're just like we have to support Ariana. <laughs> What's gonna happen to Tom Tom and Schwartz uh, and Sandy? I know so Schwartz and Sandy's apparently isn't even open like a full like f- like throughout the week. They're only open like four days a week. So like oh really? I don't know if they're gonna be able to weather the storm. <laughs> Oh, my friend, my friend just texted me. Oh my God, yeah. I did not see this coming. Oh no. <laughs> it's like, it's everywhere. Everybody's Little just do you know, we're, out. we're already filming a podcast about <laughs> right. it. Filming a podcast. I know. Oh my God. I know. And that was just it too. Like the timing of this was just so crazy. Like, like everything that I had written down for this, like, you know, review of like Vanderpump Rules this week and everything, like, I just feel like it's like completely out the window. I don't even know what my feelings are anymore. I had to like completely start from scratch. Yeah, we need to like rewatch uh, the episodes now, like yeah, knowing this information <laughs> yeah. to really, really understand our feelings. Yeah. Uh, I- but with that in mind, should we talk about the episode and kind of like start to see how we're feeling about different things? <laughs> yeah. So I yeah, I guess let's get into the episode. Um mm-hmm. our initial thoughts while we're watching and we can try to kind of work <laughs> through our feelings as we go in what is yeah. now come out. So this most recent episode, uh, Raquel and Sheena are essentially rivaling to become the <laughs> villain of the of the season. Um, and then Tom Sandoval comes up and says, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Along with Raquel. I got this. A late entry, if you will. <laughs> uh, oh I just I can't do it. But I know. yeah, so... Sheena is clearly just trying to give herself a storyline by yeah. butting into what is happening here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, well, okay, now actually all this whole like, oh, Sheena planted the seed of yeah. shorts in my head. Yeah. I called BS now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sheena may not have been the mastermind of all of this in the end. Mm -hmm. see just rethinking everything I know (laughs) I was surprised that Raquel was so ballsy uh like was ballsy enough to tell Katie basically twice that she wants to hook up with her yeah (laughs) ex-husband her boyfriend whoops yeah (laughs) I know well and even the fact that like Raquel like was like she was basically like looking for an excuse to be able to make out with Schwartz at that event right like she was just like I just want to get wasted I just want to like make out like but it's like then do it with someone else like do it with anyone else I know there's so many people in LA to make out with it doesn't need to be shorts um I think you just kind of like also when you like 
when something isn't allowed, I feel like that's when you like want it the most a lot of the times, right? Like you there's all of a sudden him, like, something interesting. Yeah, exactly. About the whole idea, like making it with shorts. It would just be like easy and it would just be like well, gross, but <laughs> <laughs> well, it was also like when she said her reasoning that she liked shorts, it was like, he's yeah. just always really happy to see me. And I yeah. immediately, I was just like, this girl needs to get her self-esteem up because clearly yeah. if the reason you like someone is because they look happy to see you, like, yeah, you have your dog when they're happy <laughs> to see you. Yeah, I think you're, I think that's really accurate. And well, and that's also why like my, like these notes are kind of like hard to like look back on because like ultimately I was kind of feeling like bad for Raquel, like not that I like agree with everything that she's doing and like how she's behaving in this episode, but I do think that this is like clearly a person that like is like not okay and like is kind of like finding herself at like this age. And that's kind of like something that we've talked about before too, with like, you know, trying to feel out like the whole like Peter thing and like accidentally making it with him. Accidentally, um, <laughs> accidentally whatever. Like yeah. maybe blacking out and making it with yeah. Peter, like who knows? Um and so you know now we're about to like witness her like making out with like Garcelle's son Oliver like in Las Vegas like I do feel for Raquel to a certain extent because you know she's clearly kind of like feeling her way through this like time in her life and being broken up with or her breaking up with uh uh James and like ending that engagement and her identity like for like the last like how many however many years she's been on this show has been so tied to James yeah right like she's just she is a little bit she was a little bit lost in that relationship and like fully we didn't get to see her really come out until this year and I think that she's probably learning a lot of stuff about herself I think it's now hard to still feel that way and have those feelings of like empathy for her when we know that like her decision has been to potentially have a months-long affair with somebody who is has been in a long-term committed relationship has like maybe not married but like is essentially in that kind of like level of union right like no yeah um, that's to- that's that's so true I I felt the same too like I I didn't like the way she handled things and honestly like when she literally went to Tom and said do you want to make out out loud I said no Raquel <laughs> like <laughs> what are you doing but you yeah like you st- like she still has those m- moments where you feel for her like she's talking to Lisa and and Lisa's like oh you're not okay yeah um which I thought was kind of funny because I felt like Lisa almost just like prompted her to cry and then just kind of stood there and was like oh no (laughs) oh whoops (laughs) whoopsies and then she was like oh change these napkins because you slobbed all over them (laughs) I love Lisa I Um, love Lisa I love like yeah but yeah like she definitely like you didn't think what she was doing was okay but she clearly is just like not in a good space and she's just trying to figure her life out Sheena, mm-hmm. on the other hand, like did seem like really you couldn't give her the benefit of the doubt. And she mm-hmm. keeps going on this narrative that Katie told her to do this and she was just yeah. like carrying out Katie's orders, which is like, yeah. okay, that well, is like such a phony story. And I don't understand yeah. why you keep clinging to it. Even in Watch What yeah. Happens Live, she's still clinging to the story. <laughs> of course she is. Um, but yeah, now it's just like, no <laughs> yeah well and that's just it too Ashina, right like it's like you know version a of the story was that you told me to make it to to hook these two people up like now the version of the story that sheena kind of has in like the most recent episode is like you know i i can't believe that katie called me a troll and she's so mean to me she's never been my friend like and granted like this whole group of friends has always had a very tumultuous relationship like none of them have like perfect friendships even Stasi and Katie have like had like hard times like yeah I can't I can't think of like one relationship that's just been like easy going the entire time I guess maybe Tom and Tom is the they only all hated example. Lala like Katie and Lala they hated, hated each Lala. other yeah and... even Lala and James hated each other like they've all had bad times together so I just don't think that Sheena can be like oh, you know, she's always been so mean to me as if, like, Sheena's never been an actor in any of the the drama that has happened over the last 10 years of this show, right? Like, no. It was, <laughs> the thing that made me laugh, too, is when she... I, actually, I did laugh out loud when Katie called her a little troll. 
Yeah. Um, that made me laugh. I love but that. But then I don't know if it was in an She's interview. Or, <laughs> if it was in the interview or on the show, but yeah. But Sheena's like, that is one word you are not going to call me. And I'm like, I'm oh, sorry, how many Why? times have you been called a troll? Like, is that like a trigger <laughs> word for you? I uh, know. Well, and also for like Sheena to be like all upset about like what Katie said to her at that um that show that night, like is one thing, but Katie ultimately was the person that left the bar, right? Like, I don't really see why you're the one that gets to kind of like play the victim in all this when like she's the one that left she's the one that like clearly her like feelings were hurt and she was like just removing herself from the situation that's Uh, yeah that's her mo i think i saw something someone posted online that that's what sheena does like she kind of acts really shady and orchestrates all this stuff but then when she's called out she cries yeah and that was just so visible in did yeah. you see the interview when someone was like how did you feel about what katie yeah. said about you and she somehow spun it into that like someone is coming for her happiness and she starts yeah. crying and she's like yeah. how can you could like you know come for the happy life that i built and it was so hard for me to build this life and it's like <laughs> this so far from yeah what has got you into this I, like this situation like no one is yeah. attacking your your family <laughs> No, that's literally not what's actually happening here. Well, and even just like, also like, it's like, it feels like Ramona with like the crocodile tears like <laughs> all over again. And like Sheena, like crying in like Tom's apartment at when like Tom says that, um or Tom Schwartz says that Katie's like, we can't even hang out anymore. And she's like doing like this where she's like, I'm so sad. It's just like, that does, <laughs> you're not crying. Like, come on. Like, might as well just get out your cry angle. <laughs> like, just try to like mom up like these like fake tears that you have here like I just can't with her uh and I'm just I don't know uh, it's gonna be a hard season if it's this Sheena heavy <laughs> I don't well that's not what we were promised from the promos <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh she better go away well at least she won't be in Las Vegas next week so that'll be good it's I, it's just like I wonder what she's gonna say specifically because she was literally just on watch yeah. what happens live like ride or dying for Raquel yeah and now she's just like and now she doesn't even follow her on Instagram JK <laughs> I know I know and I think it's gonna make the reunion like particularly interesting because like Ariana has been kind of like the one person that Sheena's always said that was like her best friend right so like how do you now balance this like this relationship and this like role that you were playing throughout the season versus like what's now actually happened in real life like it's just like and she has always been like a boy like she's always favored the boys and the girls like she always just wanted to be one one of the guys I really hope she backs Ariana because Ariana's been such a good friend to her honestly Mm -hmm. I always and like I always think of I don't always think of but this comes to (laughs) mind a lot when you think of VPR and and Ariana is um I think it was her first season was it her first season or second season when she started dating Tom and yeah. it was Sheena's wedding um and yeah like all, the, and she yeah and she wanted yeah. to bring in like Kristen to everything and like Kristen mm. was so yeah. mean to Ariana she was terrible to her she uh, would make her cry and Ariana Kristen was literally go. like inviting like Miami girl like, oh, to, to, to expose like, the to cheating sir. yeah exactly that but was even just things she would say she would say things like she wanted to get hit by a bus or like some just like really mean things I might yeah. make that up I don't think so though and Ariana <laughs> would literally there. just go she didn't want to cause a scene at like yeah. Sheena's wedding things and yeah. she would just go and she would cry and Sheena just like didn't care at all. Like she was just not I there know. for her. like Ariana had such a hard season. And then I think you later find out that that year her father had passed away as well. Right. And like no yeah. one gave her any grace. Yeah. Or like when she, when it was her birthday and she just wanted Tom to stay back with her because it was yeah. the anniversary or not, not the anniversary. She just really missed her dad. Yeah. And he's like, but they're going to play <laughs> giant truck wanna, things yeah i want to go drive these really massive trucks around in the desert so i don't know i don't know how to choose uh yeah geez ariana's really had a rough go of it because there was also like a season when she had like depression or something and i don't know if it was the same season but i think she had like depression and everybody was like wow you're such a debbie downer and yeah so they're like you're so boring you're so yeah, sad exactly. and it's like uh, <laughs> yeah i i love ariana and this season two I actually even wrote like she's just the best friend to everyone like, me too I feel like she just pops up and she's so bright and she's such a cheerleader <laughs> for everyone she doesn't deserve this <laughs> I, I literally 
have in my notes like Ariana Loki being the hero of the PR this season. <laughs> <laughs> just like it was like her like her comments on Schwartz were like absolutely like spot on, so amazing. And then even just kind of like the way that she's like navigating like the Katie stuff and the Raquel stuff with Katie, like all of it together. It's just been so she's handled it flawlessly. She's just got such a good like level headed like head on her shoulders and yeah. Uh, and- in the previews, you also see her crying to Lisa saying it was such a hard summer for her. Mm-hmm. And you don't know what happened, but I'm just like, oh. uh, uh, I know it's going to make it so hard to watch this season now that we have this news. Like, it's, I just, nothing's like, going gonna to feel the same. <laughs> like, I just can't even imagine what like Tom and Raquel are going to say. Like, what do you even like? What is there to do other than like go into a hole? Like, are they going to like show up at the reunion together? Like, are they no. going to be like sitting next to each other because they're a couple now? Like, what is this going to be? Like, <laughs> no, they, that's uh, too. Much. I don't know. <laughs> Which would also be crazy because if you think about it, like the last reunion, like Raquel was like literally like ending her engagement, and like that was like happening live on camera. And like now the next reunion, like what not even a full or well, maybe a full year after, but like whatever. Like <laughs> also <laughs> like oh. Tom set up their engagement. Like Tom Sandoval <sighs> basically oh my God, you're paid so right. for and yeah. did all the setting up he of did. their engagement. The R- Rachella. <laughs> Raquella? Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> is oh, there cool. a chance this isn't true? I don't think so. I unfortunately don't think so. I think I I think too much has come out too quickly for this to still just be something that we think is not real. Like, like I believe the breakup, but it's just yeah. so hard to believe that they could be this evil. I know. It, well, yeah. Okay. I, I I guess to a certain extent, until we have like further proof about Tom and Raquel, like we just kind of have to wait and see what happens with that. I definitely think it's become very clear that ariana and tom are done and we're just gonna have to kind of like see how that unfolds like Uh, my heart yeah i know Ah. (laughs) well i guess stay tuned for more (laughs) we'll be discussing this wild ride out there with you if ariana you're listening we are team ariana all the way ride or die yeah (laughs) Oh my god.